So here is the finished dish um, or cornmeal pudding. It can be considered a pie also. You can do them in smaller containers. So here it is, it is finished. If you look on the top there, you will see the custard being formed. And um, that's because the coconut milk was very rich. Um, if you're using your pa, um, your tin coconut milk, um, you're going to um, ensure that you have four cups, but you're going to also ensure that it is very rich. Okay, so um, this is what it turns out to be, and I hope you'll be inspired and try this Jamaican delicacy. Thank you for watching, and this is Sharon from Everything Beautiful. See you in the next video. Hope you'll be inspired to try this dish. Hello, good afternoon. This is Sharon from Everything Beautiful. Yes, I know it's been a while, but guess what happens? Sometimes life throw you unexpected challenges, and so it sets you back. And sometimes it's for the better, and you just got to pick yourself up and to move on. So I'm happy I'm here again. Now today I want to do one of um, Jamaica's favorite pastry and it's called cornmeal pudding and it's made with coconut milk, um, cornmeal and uh, some spices, nutmeg, vanilla and cinnamon powder and salt to taste. Now some people bake this and they never get it right but I'm going to show you a simple recipe, simple and easy um recipe that i use to get mine very perfect so first i'm going to get my coconut ready i'm going to break it i am going to put it in the blender and if you want to break yours you can do it and i'm going to extract it and get four cups four cups of coconut milk now if you don't have a measuring cup look on the side of your blender you will see four cups and that's what you're going to use use to measure your coconut milk okay we are also going to be using a cornmeal and that is going to be two cups of cornmeal and this coca um, this cornmeal pudding is very authentic we won't be adding any flour we won't be adding any baking um baking powder nothing that's not needed that's not our how our grandparents and our ancestors made this pudding so we're going to do it um, very authentic, okay? So without further ado, let's move on. So here we are. We are ready to combine our ingredients. So I have two cups of coconut, um, two cups of cornmeal. Now you can look on, the, on your, um, this, if you don't have a measuring cup, you can look on the side of the blender. You will see um, they have it in ounces or they have it in cups. So you can um, use the blender to measure the amount of cornmeal that is needed. But this is what cornmeal looks like. And not all cornmeal is the same because this yellow one, I realize that it swells up a lot. It bulks up a lot. Now the one we grew up on is very mild. Okay, and that bakes put in very, very nicely. This one is good, but it's just a little bit coarser. So I'll be using two cups, and this is what it looks like. Cornmeal, and this is a pound cornmeal. I have here some cinnamon and nutmeg. I have some sugar. I have um, four cups of coconut milk. So that would mean it is two cups of milk to one cup of cornmeal. You can't go wrong with this recipe. If you follow and I will add some salt now you will have to um, you know sweeten to taste okay so I'm not giving you a specific amount of sugar reason being some people like things a little bit sweeter than others and for me personally I won't be eating this alone but I don't want a lot of sugar in there so I'm going to pour in my four cups of coconut milk so there it is to my two cups of cornmeal okay and uh, my cinnamon and my nutmeg and i'm going to pour in my sugar and i'm going to pour in some um, vanilla and add some salt and um, i'm going to combine it mix everything and then i'll get back to you
So here it is. I have added some vanilla. I have added some salt. And um, so that is salt, um, nutmeg, cinnamon powder, vanilla, two cups of cornmeal, and four cups of coconut milk. And you're going to mix everything together. And then you're going to pour it in your baking dish and you put it in your oven i will be doing this in my toaster oven now um, i have done this the simplest way and so many people especially younger people um they want to make this and they either make it too tough or too soft um most of the time too tough because there's just too much cornmeal and less milk so i hope that you will try this recipe and follow it exactly as um as I gave it to you and um, you know if you find leave a little milk say about, about a quarter cup of milk um, so if it's a little bit too hard you can actually flavor the milk again with a little sugar a little vanilla a little nutmeg and, and cinnamon again and then you pour that over it when if the pudding looks too dry and then you put it back in the oven but I don't think that will happen because the four cups of milk works very well with the two cups of cornmeal okay so let me show you the finished product as soon as it is finished now I'm going to ask you to please season or flavor this um, this 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 um, pudding to your taste put as much salt as you want as much sugar that you want don't over salt it don't over sweet it just sweeten it as if you're sweetening your cereal and um, taste it and um, it you should be good with that okay so um sometimes when we try things the first time it's a little bit off the next time we can actually master it because practicing becomes perfect so i hope you'll enjoy this video